Hello, Women in Technology World Series online festival attendees. I'm Kelly Hoey, author of the book, Build Your Dream Network, Forging Powerful Connections in a Hyper-Connected World. And I am thrilled to be sharing with you my top tips for networking virtually. Now, before I share those, let me tell you a little bit about me. No, I didn't set out to be a networking expert. I started my career as an attorney. So I take some, mm, let me see, decidedly non-technical, hey, I graduated from law school in 1991, pre-digital, deceptively simple ways that I think about networking from that time in that career. After practicing law, I moved into law firm management, building out the professional development uh, features for a global law firm, as well as their women's initiative, and designing their alumni program. From there, I went on to become the first president of a global business network for women before starting a startup accelerator, and somehow along the way, listening to my network and realizing what had enabled all these career changes were networks and tapping into those networks. So, I'm looking forward to spilling the tea with you after these tips so I can share any other career and networking insights with you. But for now, let's talk networking virtually. First things first, networking virtually is not secondary networking. It is as human and meaningful as well. Grab me a cup of tea together. So first off, approach online networking and virtual networking like real networking, because it is. So my first tip for networking success virtually is be present, be yourself, be human, be authentic by being present. So some suggestions, turn off your notifications on your phone and on your computer, put an out of office on your email to let people know that you're attending these sessions. I would also say, hey, post that on LinkedIn as well. Give a signal to your network that what is occupying your time so you can be here, not multitasking, but present. <clears throat> Engaging with other attendees, using any of the platform functions for the event, plus is a signal to your network so that they're not bothering you. Give yourself this time to be present, okay? So there's the first thing. Second thing, I had mentioned being authentic. Part of being authentic is being found and being accessible. So as part of accessibility, is your profile online updated, complete? Is you've got an accurate headshot? Um, you know, we, we look and trust by connecting with other people. So let's make sure we've got a headshot and it looks like us, well, maybe not pre-COVID or during COVID because that might scare people if you hadn't been, had a chance to get a haircut, but how does it look? Does it look like you? I remember teasing a partner at a law firm I worked with because he hadn't had his headshot updated since the 90s. Hey, he'd aged well, but not that well. So update your headshot, update your contact information. Uh, make sure that people know what it is that you're seeking and doing by having that as part of your networking and your accessibility to connect with others. As I said, I've got some deceptively simple tips on how you can connect better and network better virtually. And one of those things is being found and being found why, you know, what you want to be known for. So that completeness of your online profile is critical to your networking toolkit. So if you haven't updated your profile, go and do it now. And, and well, maybe not now in the middle of this video, but do it today, okay? So make sure it's up to date. So we've got signaling to your network where you are. You've got having an updated profile as part of how you successfully network virtually, all right? Thirdly, here's another thing in terms of networking success virtually. 
remember that today, you and I connecting right now because of this presentation, you and I connecting because of the Spill the Tea session, this is the start of our relationship. Not one and done. This is the start. So keep that in mind. And I'm pausing there because I really want that to sink in. We often with networking think, oh my God, if I don't connect with this person today, if this, if I don't get this deal, if I don't get this sale, if I don't get this job offer, like the networking offer, if we don't meet them at this conference, this online summit, this online festival, if I don't, if it doesn't happen now, it, no, this is the start of the relationship. So walk into every virtual networking session during this online festival, Walk in with the attitude of this is the first chance and my first opportunity to build connections with these amazing attendees and the speakers and the organizers and everyone else. How am I going to set that relationship off on the right foot? So how do you do that? You pay attention to what's going on. You watch and observe. You add value. You look for ways to connect with these people afterwards. And that can be connecting with them on LinkedIn. That can be posting information on your own social profiles. That can be following up by finding them online via their website, their, their contact information, reaching out and saying, hey, appreciated the comment that you made during so-and-so session or I really enjoyed your session. I had a follow-up question. Don't think like, oh man, we've got this online festival and how am I gonna have the serendipity of running into someone and having that you know, great relationship? I mean, we can all probably count on our hands the number of times we attended an in-person event and made a lifelong connection. It all happened because of the conversations afterwards. So create that networking serendipity during this online festival by watching and observing what others are saying, amplifying their comments, using the hashtag for this event when you're posting on social media, because you never know. Someone you, you've met at a prior conference or an event might be attending this as well and will find you because of that hashtag. The other attendee is using the hashtag. That coalesces and builds community. But it starts today. So remember, this is not just one chance to meet people. This is the chance to start a relationship. So how you, can you share that information? How can you amplify the information? Let me add on this in ways and suggestions on how you can follow up. I sort of hinted at one already, reaching out to someone afterwards and commenting or asking a follow-up question on their presentation or searching the hashtag, seeing who else is attending the sessions you've attended and you know, commenting in their LinkedIn to start and continue that conversation and seeing what else you have in common beyond attending this event. Another thing to think about is, because we always think with networking that, hey, how can I meet new people? Um, some of the most important people in your network are people you already know. And maybe they're not here at this online festival. So how can you share the information with them? Hey, what about a lunch and learn? What about posting information again, not just what you're learning, but maybe there's, I don't know, articles or videos or other information that's being shared that you're discovering because of the sessions during this online festival. How about sharing it with, uh, with your existing network? You might be helping them up, out. You might be you know, promoting their careers. You might build a stronger relationship with someone you already know. Maybe it enhances your relationship with a mentor. Maybe it solidifies a relationship with a sponsor of your career. Maybe there is a, I don't know, a client you've been trying to think of a way to touch base with, and you recall that they were struggling with a certain, I don't know, challenge problem, and you've learned something as part of this online festival that you can send to them. 
So again, think about, oh man, like how can I help other people with the information I have? And by doing so, you're helping yourself. So my top tips for networking virtually, be yourself, be human, embrace these online tools to their fullest. This is how, you know, I said there should, this is how we become more human in all of our networking spaces. And I'm actually thinking of a story. The reason I mentioned before when I did my introduction, the reason and how I became president, the first president of a global network for women is I embraced every single online tool that platform offered its members. So be accessible, be human, embrace all of these tools. You know, send some social signaling to your existing network to let them know that, hey, time out, I'm busy at the moment. They might be interested in wondering what they're missing out on. Might launch a conversation with them beyond managing expectations and realize that today is your first chance to build some incredible connections with a global community of attendees of this online festival. So treat it as the first meeting not the one and done only meeting, the first meeting. All right, I've got lots more ideas and suggestions, but we've got a time limit on this first part. So come and meet me in the Spill the Tea session. Bring your online virtual networking questions. Also bring any other career networking questions because I'm gonna be delighted to answer them. I'm Kelly Hoey. Thanks for attending this session on the top tips to network virtually, and I'll see you live in the Spill the Tea.